Welcome to the Tech Mind Factory video blog. I'm super excited that you visited my channel. I hope you will find this video helpful and interesting. If so, please subscribe at the end because this will be the sign for me to produce more videos. And now, enjoy watching. This is another video from the series Be a Better Azure Developer. And in this video, I would like to talk about building real-time asset tracking solution with Azure SignalR service. Before we jump into the demo I prepared for this video, I would like to briefly introduce SignalR service and its capabilities. So let's start. So what is Azure SignalR service? It's the service available in the Azure cloud that enables pushing data from server to client in a real time. So you can try to imagine that if you have, for instance, web API hosted on Azure, like in the web app, and you have some client applications like mobile apps, you can push real time data from this web API, this web app hosted on Azure to those client applications, like to Android and iOS apps using SignalR service. So, here are some examples that are good to use Azure SignalR service available in the Azure cloud. It's perfect for high frequency data updates, like for gaming or, or voting, for dashboards and monitoring, so company dashboard, financial market data, etc. It's also a perfect match for chat apps. So, if you would like to create a chat application and send real time messages, Azure SignalR service is perfect match here. And of course, Azure SignalR service is perfect for real-time location on map. So for logistics tracking, delivery status tracking, transportation status updates, or GPS apps. And this last example will be used in my demo I prepared for this video. So in this video, we will see the application. It's Universal Windows Platform application where we can see the car. And this car will move in a real time because this data will be pushed from Azure SignalR service from the Azure cloud. So let's jump into the Visual Studio and see this demo. So here are the two instances of Visual Studio. On the left side, I have Universal Windows Platform project open and this application will be used to display map and moving car. On the right side, there is a solution that consists of two projects. ASP.NET Core Web API application that will send the messages using SignalR service. And also there is a console application, a simulator, because we will use the simulator to generate fake location data and we will send this data to the API. Okay, so let's see it in action. Let's launch the API together with simulator projects first. As we can see on the console, we currently are sending the location updates. We can see the name of the driver, latitude and longitude. That's great. So let's see the Universal Windows Platform application now. So this is the Universal Windows Platform application. And as we can see, the car is changing location in a real time. So we can see on the left side there is a console and on the right side there is a map inside the application and we can see that car is changing location. Great, so let's see the implementation details. Let's start with the API project. To integrate with SignalR service, we have to add a NuGet package. So right click on the API project and I will select manage NuGet packages. And we can see that Microsoft.Azure.SignalR was used to integrate with SignalR service. Okay, great. So now if we expand this API projects, inside the hubs folder, there is live tracking hub. And as you can see, this live tracking hub class derives from hub that is provided in this NuGet package we added before. And there is one method called location update. And we can see that there is one parameter passed to this method, location update. And here inside location update class, we have three properties, driver name, latitude and longitude. So this is the class that we will use to send the location updates. And as we can see, here is the clients that all that send async method used. And we have to also provide the name of the method that will be used to distribute messages and we can pass the location update. So this li line will spread messages to all clients connected to this hub.
Of course, you can provide a secure access to this hub and send messages only to authenticated users, for instance. Everything is possible here, but this is just an example. So let's close this class right now and let's open startup class. Here in the configure services method, uh, we have to also add add signal error method and add Azure signal error. So here in the add Azure signal error method, we have to pass the connection string from the app settings JSON file. And of course, below in the configure method, we have to also add use Azure signal error method and set the root to our hub that we had discussed before. So here we can see that under live tracking uh, root, our hub will be available for clients to connect. Perfect. So let's see what's happening in the console application. Let's start with NuGet packages. So right click on the console project. I will click manage NuGet packages. And we can see that here I use Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.SignalR.Client. And this package is required to integrate with SignalR hub. Okay, great. So right now, what's happening in this simulator project? Again, we have location update class and there is a property called driver name, latitude and longitude. And we will use this class to pass location updates to the SignalR hub. So if we open a live tracking client service, we will see that here we have hub connection that is provided in the NuGet package we added before. There is also connection URL property, so we have to provide the URL to connect to the hub that was uh, implemented in the API project uh, above. So if I scroll down here, we can see that there is initialize method, so we have to pass this connection URL, and then the, the hub will be built, so this hub connection. And after that, we have to call hub.startAsync to start receiving messages. So here below, there are two methods. The first one is called subscribe hub method. And inside this method, we can subscribe to receive a messages. So in this case, location updates from the uh, signer service hub located in the API project. So we can see that here is on method and we expecting to receive location updates. And then we will call on message receive uh, delegate and we will pass this location update because we would like to uh, display it in the user interface. Below, here is the send hub message method. And this method is used to send location messages to the hub located in the API project. And of course, below there is a close connection method because once we, we are closing application, we have to dispose this help. Okay, great. So this is the uh, console application. So I will open program CS file and we can see that there is a simple list with location update instances here, many different uh, instances of location update um, uh, objects. And here we have to create this live tracking client service. We have to initialize it so we can see that I'm using localhost address, the port we have to set, slash live tracking. So we will uh, connect to the hub using this URL address. And then uh, each, three second, each three seconds, we will send the location updates to the hub here. So we will take the first location update object from the list and we will send it using send hub message. And of course, we have to pass the name of the of the uh, method that will receive this message. So location update. And then we have to pass the argument. So in this case, a location update object. And once it's sent, we will remove it from the list. And that's it. So this console application is like a simulator of the of, of some IoT device, for instance, that we, that can send uh, uh, messages to the to the cloud. Great. So let's see what's happening in the Universal Windows Platform application project. This is the Universal Windows Platform application project. And once again, to integrate with SignalR service, we have to add a NuGet package called Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.SignalR.Client. Once we add this package, again, we can use location tracking client service instance here. So again, in this location tracking client service class, we have hub, we have hub connection, uh, 
We have to provide connection URL to connect to the hub to receive and send messages. We have to uh, initialize this uh, hub connection here using hub connection builder and passing this connection URL. And we have to call star async method. And then below there is subscribe hub method again to receive the location updates. And there is also send hub message to send messages to the hub. And of course, at the end, once the application is closed, we have to dispose resources. So there is a hub dispose async. Great. So now there is also in this uh, application, there is a map service. And we will use this map service class to display updates uh, on, the, on the map used in this, uh, in this application. So in this case, Bing Maps. So we can see that we have to initialize this map, first of all. So we have set some parameters like center of the map, location. There is also a method called add map push pin. So inside this method, uh, we, we have to pass location update that was received from the uh, SignalR service hub. And once we have this location update object, we can create a push pin that will be displayed on the map. And in this case, of course, I decided to, uh, to, to display car icon. So we have to also provide the, um, the images for those pins on the map. So inside this add map uh, push pin uh, method, we, what we are doing, uh, we, uh, we receiving location update object, and then we are creating the pin that will be displayed on the map. So that's it. And of course, we, there is also a method called update push pin because once the pin is added, we would like to move this pin once the new location is received. So here in the uh, main page XAML, uh, in the main page XAML uh, file, there is a Bing map used. So there is a map control used. And in the code behind, so main page XAML CS file, there is a live tracking client service instance, map service instance. And here, as you can see in the on navigated to method, so once this page is displayed, we have to initialize uh, map service and we have to in initialize signer uh, client here. So what we are doing here, we are creating live tracking client service. We have to, of course, pass the URL to the hub that is sitting in the API project. So in this case, localhost slash live tracking. And then we have to subscribe to the hub method. So in this case, location update. And once uh, location update uh, object is received, we have to call update location on map method. And here, what we are doing, we are passing location update. And then map service is responsible for updating the, the, the pin on the map. So the final result is like this. Of course, it's worth to mention that we have to create SignalR service instance first in the Azure portal. So we can go to create a resource tab and here we can try to find SignalR. We can see that there is SignalR service displayed on the list. We can click create button. And of course, we have to provide some details like resource group, name of the service, region, pricing tier, and some other parameters. So. Once we create this instance, uh, we can integrate this in the ASP.NET Core and also in the client applications yeah, like Universal Windows Platform application. I also encourage you to check uh, the demo I presented in this video. It's available on my GitHub and the links will be provided in the video description. And of course, I encourage you to check official documentation how to use ASP.NET Core projects together with SignalR. All the links will be provided in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to contact me either on Twitter or LinkedIn. And of course, I encourage you to visit my blog techmindfactory.com. See you in the next video.